Terry, you say that leadership communication is a distinct field. How does it differ? The leadership communication itself came into existence as a separate field in the mid-90s, and we were able to make some distinctions about it. Here they are. I think, I think they're all meaningful, and in fact, they're, we're discovering more and more uh, all the time. Uh, the first one is the difference between change and progress. Uh, change being something that, that seems like it's chaotic, that people hate. Progress being that same action, but pointing towards something new in their imagination that's meaningful, that they can be part of. So change and progress is one distinction. Uh, the difference between satisfaction and loyalty is another. Satisfaction tends to be transactional, and it's about what you do. Loyalty comes from not just being satisfied with the transaction, but being interested in the values that are being expressed. So we see those in our everyday personal relationships, that there are some people we're loyal to because we know who they are, and there are other people that we're satisfied with because we're happy with the transaction. So satisfaction is about what you do, loyalty is about who you are. Those two things are different and they're worth, it, it's worth trying to escalate into a base of loyalty. Uh, loyal clients, for example. Uh, satisfied clients, if, if people are satisfied with your, with your wares and you make a mistake, they feel free to go somewhere else. If a client is loyal to you and you make a mistake, they not only will tell you that you made a mistake, but they'll help you fix it because they want to be part of who you are. The companies would kill to have that kind of distinction. So uh, loyalty and satisfaction is another one. Um, strategy and values. So many companies talk about their strategy incessantly. How are we going to operate in a way that we're going to meet our goals? On the other hand, what people are really going to make commitments about are the values that get expressed in the execution of that strategy. So that's a distinction that we make frequently. The difference between compliance and commitment. It's one thing for people to do what they have to do. It's quite another for them to be committed to the cause, to be committed to what the company's trying to do. That's where engagement becomes the coin of their own. That's where discretionary, um, discretionary effort uh, comes into play. So the difference between commitment and compliance is also a difference in leadership communication. Those are just a few of the things that we talk about.